In this video we're going to talk about creating surfaces in Rhino. So we're going to see a bunch of different solutions, different types of surfaces here that we can create in Rhino. So let's get started. Now the first thing I want to show you here is sometimes you have issues when you are extruding or when you are creating some solids that they are not actually solids, they have holes. Now this could happen for many reasons. One of these is because the curves used to extrude these weren't perfectly joined. So you can do, you can fix this. So this is a open extrusion, can be also called a polysurface, open polysurface. So to fix this and create a solid, all you need to do is fill the holes or close the holes. Now you have many tools here in the surface creation toolbar. By the way, you can, you can open up this one here by clicking on this icon and open it up like this. So first one is surface form from three or four corner points. And this can be useful if you have a simple hole, which is just like a, a rectangle. So you can click in that. Uh, well, yeah, not like this, but be careful there on the sequence. So, and on the snap. So zoom up zoom in a lot and there you go. So this is now kind of a patch to close that hole right there. Now this one here can be closed with another one which is the surface from, from planar curves. So you can start to select all the curves in the parameter here. There you go. And when you finish press enter and that's gonna create something that's gonna close that. And then you, you can select everything and join everything together. There you go. Now this one is not yet an, a closed polysurface because it still has another surface to close, which is the one down there. So again, you can create here surface from plan and curve. And well, if you choose the right um, view, you can directly select all the curves with just one click. Okay, now I have selected too much, so let me do that again. Right click, go there, and then press enter. Okay, now if we join again this, it's gonna be a closed. So let's join. There you go. Now this is a closed solid polysurface. So this means that it's now a solid. It's not a, a surface anymore, but it's um, recognized as a solid. And I can place this back right there. Okay, this is just an example to show you also the difference between a closed polysurface, an open polysurface, and so on. Now we started with something really simple, which is a surface from three or four corner points. Now you can do this also separately right here. So it can become just a simple plane. Now be careful here because sometimes you can draw this also in 3D. So this could be not a simple plane, but something a little bit more complex. And when you select um, a surface, you can extract here the control points as well, just like a curve. So if I take one of these and move it into vertical space, well, be careful where it's, where it's gonna snap, but there you go. So basically this is not 2D, this is now a strange 3D object. So be careful to use sometimes planner, sometimes project if you want to make sure that your uh, plane is actually a plane and not something strange or well anything else. Be careful where it's gonna snap. Now when you have a lot of objects like this in your scene is uh, well really easy it's gonna snap to something so be careful. Okay now let's move on and I want to show you also this one which is pretty simple it is a rectangular plane corner to corner so this is basically the same thing that you do with a rectangle but this time it's a surface. Now you can also extrude this. So if you extrude a rectangle, you need to extrude the with the extrude curve. 
but when you have a surface you can extrude surface so it's another command it's similar to the extrude curve command that we used before but this is extruding surfaces and if I say it's solid no also here you have both sides as well if you want and click to do the extrusion you can see that this is again an open poly surface and again I can close this another way to close this is to use the patch now the patch is more appropriate when you create like uh, curvy objects so when you have curves and curved surfaces it's better to use the patch because it's going to create this uh, like soft closing okay and also you can use the surface from two three or four edges so you can use curves you can use also edges if you want to create some of these and again I can unite can join and this is gonna be well it's an open poly surface now you we need to understand why but there's surely some issue somewhere but we're going to talk about fixing issues like this later on okay let's proceed with simple um, shapes here you have vertical plane also so in this case it's gonna create it in the perpendicular to the construction plane and well you can figure out the rest this one is a cutting plane so you can select objects for the cut plane let's enter and start of cut plane is gonna be three points here and so it's creating this really thin line because it's only cutting that so if you select a bigger object it's gonna be a bigger cutting plane well these are actually all planes and this is also picture plane so we used this before to insert an image and that's what this does it inserts a rectangle and it plays on that a material using a, an image and apply to the surface now let's see some of the extrusions right here so if you click here you can see the different extrusion types so extrude straight is basically the one that we used so far so if I create something here remember can be a closed object can be an open object if it's closed you can create a solid or you can say no solid no or solid yes you can go both side and you can also change direction so if you don't want to extrude vertically but you want to have an 